Hey Wigglers, how you doing? Miss Wiggly here. Uh, welcome to Caligo. Caligo, or, yeah, Caligo. I think that's how they would say it, because it was kind of like Italian. I think that's what it was. No, Latin? Italian. <gasps> I don't know. But it, it means mist, and uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, it does look creepy. I do need to go back into settings and go full screen because I couldn't actually do window full screen to actually go over and click record. So yeah, so this is Caligo. It looks pretty cool. So yeah, it's kind of creepy. I turned off the music because, um, you know, copyright and all that good stuff. So anyway, so let's get right into it. This is actually a walking simulator, so it's kind of like a adventure thing, but it's more of a walking simulator. I love walking simulators because you can actually like explore different places. Ooh. I like the sensitivity because I did raise it up because I didn't know how... Oh, shiny thing over there. I've never seen this game before, so... <laughs> Are you settling in all right? Yeah. Huh? Who are you? Oh. What are you? Am I... Am I dead? Don't tell me you're surprised. You're overreacting. W what is this place? And who are you again? So many questions. But I'm not the one to answer them. I am to meet you and take you to the one who you should really ask. So why don't we set out on our journey? Okay, um... What about that shiny thing that's not shiny anymore? I mean, it's still shiny, I really like that. Alright. Alright. painting though. Oh wow. Those are nice blue eyes. Damn. Okay. Do I get to meet you? Because you look kind of scary and I don't want you to kill me. Keep it up. One step at a time. Don't mind what you see here. There's absolutely nothing to look at. Oh, look at the art! What? Oh, you disappear. I thought you walk off. Okay. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. Actually, it reminds me of one of the caves in, um, Ark. I haven't been in one of those caves, but uh, I've seen videos of it that have blue crystals around it. Have I been in a cave yet? I don't know. Either way, I just keep going. Ew, what? Ew, 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 ew. Am I in water? I walk off? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. These are giant candles. That moon now. Moons. Those moons, though. Creepy. big. Need to get a better camera, better video editor. This place looks familiar, eh? I've I've never seen it before. Calling something familiar around these parts would be rather far fetched. Mm, never mind. You'll remember soon. Come in and go upstairs. What will I find there? This lighthouse will lead you home. 
It's hard to explain. You'll know it when you get there. Don't rush it. What I like about this place is that there's absolutely no reason to hurry. Time means nothing here. Thanks for the tip. All right. You're welcome. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. The other side. Get you there, dude. All right. Later, cave of creepiness. All right. Well, coolness. Oh. Thank you. Even though this character's a dude, but I'm a lady, and thank you for the door. Can I go see over here? Is there anything over there? Do I get burnt? I don't want to try. Never mind, I'm just gonna go in. How weird. This place seems so familiar. Really? The guy just said it was gonna be, and you're like, uh, I've never seen this place before. <laughs> Can I take that lamp? No. Torch? No. No. Can I take a bucket? Alright. Let's go upstairs then. And can I have like light just in case I go somewhere and I can't see shit? <laughs> I love how the water stops and then it redoes the water sound. <laughs> Great audio. That's oh, no. <laughs> Going all the way up. Are we almost there? Dude. We're at the top. What's happening? Whoa. I played some uh, Nancy Drew games that. Oh, excuse me. They had, um. Had like a lighthouse in it. I forgot what one it was. Yes, I played Nancy Drew games before a long time ago, though. Don't worry about it. Don't play it now. I haven't played any Nancy <laughs> Drew's in a long time. But yeah, um. I forgot which one it was. Anyway, so yeah, just. Uh. Why, why am I on the ledge? Why? I think I'm beginning to understand. How many times have I seen you? Too many to count, right? What? Before I move, I'm just trying to look around. <laughs> okay, I'm locked in. What's up, dude? Hi. Do not linger. The master is waiting. He's been waiting for quite a while. He can wait some more. After all, time means nothing here. You said it yourself. At least somewhere it's true. <laughs> You're right on this one. It's hard to disagree. In any case, keep it up. We're almost there. Already. Why can't I do a poofy thing? <laughs> I mean, why do you need to teleport? If time means nothing here, why do you need to teleport? Are we in black and white mode? What? It seems this place is dead. Not because it died, but because it never had a chance to live. It has its own charm, though. Yeah. That's for sure. That's creepy. Like a bird on his shoulder, just like, chirp. Am 
I go this way, right? I should, right? I don't know. I'm just going forward. I think I go this way. A giant hole over here, so I think I go this way. More webs. Ew. Well, you don't seem to be in a hurry. It's good to see you again. I bet you have a lot of questions. Uh-huh. You're the master, I gather. Yeah, you're absolutely right. My memories about this place are starting to come back, but these are just random pieces. Sensations, even. Everything I see around myself should probably confuse I'm me. <laughs> even the fact I'm hearing your voice, but don't see you. No, not necessarily. You've seen everything countless times, and you've done everything you should. Well, almost everything, but we'll talk about this later. Now, you can ask your questions. Hmm, questions. I love them. I love Let's start answers. with something simple. Who are you? <laughs> You call this a simple question? Well, I can offer you several answers. I am you. I am your death. I am your creator. I am your creation. Choose whichever you like best. They are all true. How are you me? Pfft, what does that mean? It doesn't make any sense. If you expect me to look for a meaning when there's none, or get it out of you word by word, think again. Since it's you who wants something from me, would you be so kind as to say what it is? Ah, uh, you are right, of course. I'd better tell you the whole story. Sorry, I could not help it. Come closer to our throne. I think it'll be best if we talk face to face. These webs. <laughs> I didn't know if it was gonna be another dialogue when I get closer and I didn't want to interrupt it, so that's why I didn't move. Alright, let's keep going. I need to adjust my camera again. That's alright. I was like, I'm not shrink now. <laughs> Damn, where is your throne? Oh my god. Wait, do I go that way? Ew. I don't like this. Can I run? I can't run. Okay. Can I jump? No. That door, though. You're not naked, right? Good. Don't come alive and eat me, please. Oh my god, this door, though. Oh my god. Even the fire is in black and white, what? I guess, uh, is that walkable or is that water? Oh, it's walkable, okay. How do I get up there? I still can't run. Oh. I can't click. So, I'm just gonna have to walk. It's a walking simulator. <laughs> oh, there's a ramp. I bet there's things behind us. Gonna say boo. Oh, there's the throne. Oh god. So, we meet again, face to face. Speaking of which, your face fits this place perfectly, yeah. as I see. That's right. Since you already know you're dead, let's start with your birth. You see, we were together once. One body with no name. No age, no beginning, and no end. 
But one day, something happened. Even I cannot explain it. Perhaps we got bored. What's important is that we decided to split. This is how you and I became to be. Keep talking. Oh, I'm glad to hear you're intrigued. Yes, we ceased to be the absolute. Each of us had our own shortcomings and limitations, but we also found new opportunities. In other words, we gained some features inherent only to each of us. I managed to create our first world. It was poor and wretched, but it was there. You lived your first life in. You even gathered some building blocks for it. I used these blocks to update the first version. I improved it, making it more extensive and diverse. This building material is your life. Your every sigh and every impression. I collect them every time you come here. That's why you almost don't remember anything. That was our agreement. Wait, are you trying to say that all my life that I've lived, all the people I've loved, is no more than an illusion? Has my life been unreal? Unreal? As you know, the very concept of reality can exist only in the world we created. By the way, it was one of the biggest and strongest blocks you ever brought me to help with construction. Will it keep on living without us? Yes, it definitely will. Only, it doesn't really matter. Since we are immortal, you know. So, does that mean I have to be reborn? That hasn't happened yet. So what's the problem? Ah, uh, yes. This is the tricky part. But I'm not ready to lay all my cards on the table just yet. I can only say that I don't collect all your memories. You know, some things you see, some impressions you get at some points in your life, make you change your very perception and understanding of it. So, as we agreed, I leave these to you. And before I ask the ultimate question, the question thanks to which we are here today, you must refresh these memories in your mind. Oh. I think I have no choice. Although I don't need it. Tell me what I have to do. There is a portal behind your back. Enter it. I'll be nearby. You won't see me, but you can hear me. I'll help you. Creepy. Like a little bird on his shoulder. Like literally chirping in your ear. Okay. Alright. Be my birdie. Oh. Alright. Let's go. Let's make memories. <laughs> That was a long dialogue, just to, just to pretty much describe what we're gonna do, like, what? Uh. Ooh, this is pretty. What is this place? Hmm, maybe you'll tell me it's your life after all. Are you went camping? I'm not sure. Perk? I need to look around first. Ooh, what's that? Mushroom? You went to a really creepy park, or forest, or jungle, or uh, pretty mushroom. What is that? Is that like tree? Hard to click. Is that behind me? Click, click. It has a tongue. I don't want it licking me. Am I supposed to collect? Wait, what? It had words. Those things had words. These are cool. Little robot. 
spot, dude. Yeah, now I recognize it. How interesting. So, what is it then? This is my childhood. This is how I imagine my cool pillow fort. fort. The coziest place on earth. Every like time I got in with a book in my hands, the rest of the world ceased to exist. At least when I was immersed into the world of a story so unraveling why before is the me. world in there that you uh, created black and white over Sounds fascinating. There <laughs> like, come on. If the world that we just left is pretty much like the other world, like what? I saw it on the achievements where it's just to collect things. I don't see anything that is flashing, so... Alright, let's continue on. Books. You go over here? Oh, okay. What? What? Oh, ink spots. So those little pictures. Okay. That's what I did. Okay. Alright. Works for me. So you must, like, read, right? Over here. Can't look inside it. Alright. A lot of books. For those little pictures too, so I can collect them. <laughs> so I'm slipping and sliding down here. Man, this wilderness is loud. Those are cool and creepy looking at the same time. Oh, that tall one though. Wait, this is a castle, this is a... Yet another cozy corner in the world. I do. Only I imagined this place much later when I grew. The feelings are completely different. But the purpose is still the same. I've always been keen on good stories. I imagined myself to be a great traveler. An adventurer. Every time I did, I was one. I lived in those stories. I breathed them. And each time my imagination brought me here. Stories are your passion. That's the reason why you, not me, keep living these lives. What? Yeah, lives? Oh, the snap of that. I'm like, what? That's. Wow. That. Whoa. <laughs> Can I have some tea? I don't know how to play chess. But I'll have the tea. No ing 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 bobs. I said it was a short, you know, box simulator, so... But exploring is awesome. It's a pretty cool place. Did I miss any? Because I didn't see any, like... I didn't see any like um, stands that have those pictures on it. I was trying to look for it. Over the bridge and through the woods to grandmother's house. Hi. Come on, keep up. You're almost there. I'll race you. Who are Who was you? It? Who is that elusive ghost? Ah, that's your dream. Such a beautiful creature. Yeah, it is a dream. 
I know why we're here. It was then, in my childhood, while I had my head buried in all those books, when I felt the taste of fantasy. That's when each story I read unfolded into a whole new world. When you're engrossed in a good book, while having a cup of freshly brewed coffee, it seems that time itself comes to a stop, don't you think? What fascinates me even more is that there were thousands of such stories. Can't run. <laughs> yeah, those are words going by. So I don't know what those are, what they say. Pretty sky, though. So this is your dream. Dream of creepy mushrooms and a little bit of memories of your past. I mean, obviously everyone has their own dream thing, but... Come closer. Don't be afraid. Do you remember how you and I used to sit on this swing when you were a child? Of course I remember. This was the place where all fantasies materialized. All it took was reach for my dream. Reach for you. This old oak still remembers all your adventures. Why don't you have a go on the swing as you used to? Okay. I'm not controlling it. Do I control it? Look! No. Do you see it? It's right there in front of you. Castle? It's your palace. Oh, well, your yeah. fortress. Seems yeah, better. I recognize stay. it. I would stay here forever. I know you would, but I'm afraid it's not possible. Sorry. Can I get up? Why am I falling? All I want to do is get off the swing and I didn't want to fall off. Damn. <laughs> this guy's brutal. He's like, oh, here to fall. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, this is... It's a pity we left that place behind. That's why I really felt the taste for life for the first time. Behind. Ahead. These words make little sense here, you know. But let's not get carried away. We need to move forward. We are. I am. Let's go. As you say. <laughs> Creepy ass Oh, what a weird place. Chains tied to odd-looking masts. Portholes hidden in rocks. All these skulls. Why? Why all this? All this is your memories. You'll soon see what it's all about. This atmosphere. All the freshness and coolness in the air. It's such a familiar feeling. Freedom is the first thing that comes to mind. I like this place. The world you live in is too vain. There's too much bustle, too many thoughts and worries. And what's the point in all this? That's not how I see it. It's just that in all this swirling, you need to find the strength to swim in the right direction. You might be right. You should know better, after all. I only bring you the building blocks to extend reality. Can 
And this place is, oh my god. Excuse me, Rock. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I did go this way. Okay, I didn't know if it was like blocked up here. Where are we going? <laughs> Are we gonna fall off the cliff? No, it's a hill. Okay, I'm like, wait. I guess we've reached the top now. Whee! Let's check it. What is that? Oh my god, I don't like this place. So far. <laughs> oh god. Please don't let it be like an arena thing where something goes out and attacks me. It's a walking simulator, so I don't think I can find it anywhere. <laughs> Damn. Freaky. I recognize this place. Do you? Of course, it didn't used to look like this when I saw it. But after all, it's not the real thing. This is how I remember it. Or rather, but if it... this is how you sensed it. Okay. That's... I think we need to get on the ship's deck. That makes more Look, sense. It's how I he viewed it, there. but it wasn't Although, like uh, the reality I'd rather of walk it. along the shore for a while. You're right. That's where we have to look so for things we came here then... for. But the there's no need flower? to hurry. There's no time here. Remember? You're creepy, dude. Both of you, the main character and the creepy dude in my ear. Both of you. Stop pushing my ear. Go this way, I guess. Ooh, can I pick that up that shiny little thingy? Oh, I can't. Oh, I know it's a shell. <laughs> I was like. I do go this way, right? Oh, there's a light, so I wait, oh. Strand of hair is in that face. Oh, do not like oh my god, it looks so creepy. Oh my god. Where did I go? Was it supposed to be over here? I had a little light, so maybe I had to be over here for a... a no? Okay. I didn't know. Going through trees. <laughs> and I can bounce. Where do I go then? What? Am I supposed to go where the- oh. I went oh, the wrong way. Alright, didn't I- oh. What is rushing in my ear? I'm not sure which way I was supposed to go. To go over this way. Oh, 
water. So I know I put the sound effects up pretty high, but oh, ah. Thank you. There you go. Oops, oops, oops. Got it. <laughs> when I first saw it, it didn't look like a pile of rustling scrap metal at all to me. What I saw was an ancient sea monster thrown ashore which was too old to go back into the water. It wasn't just a trick of the eye. Oh, don't tell me. No. Please don't pop out, say boo. Sailor, how is it going? It seems a storm is coming. We need to check if everything's fastened. I feel we're in for a bumpy ride. What's he talking about? This ship has run aground, and it looks like it won't go anywhere anytime soon. Are you sure? Look at him. He doesn't seem to agree with you. Well, for him, this ship is still up and running. The moment I saw it on the shore when I took it for some sea monster. It was then I realized there was absolutely no difference between fiction and reality, between the living and the dead. This is a bold thing to say. Exactly. You see, I can use my imagination to give any object, any notion, the meaning I want. All those stories from books, all the worlds they revealed before me weren't the only way out anymore. I realized that I can create these worlds for myself. You've always understood this. What yes, always. But only now it gave me a sense of freedom. This old sailor's in denial. He doesn't want to see his ship has run aground. Exactly. There's only one snag here. You can't give random meaning to random things. Or else the world will turn into chaos. At least when it comes to yourself. But there's always a choice. And it only depends on me. Hey, sailor, what are you muttering about? There's a storm brewing on the horizon. It'll catch up with us soon. Our friend's heart is wrecked. Get down to the engine room and check how it is. Come on, gonna move on. Oh, okay, up my Got it, boss. Look, it really is alive. It looks like it's the heart of the ship. It is completely dead. Can we fix it? No. We can do anything. Close your eyes. This is creepy. You know what to do. Make it a living heart. You can open them now. Boss, it's working. <laughs> Alright. Where are we going now? Hallway of Wonders. Okay. Oh! Thank you. The best show in the world. I smell trouble. You're right about that. You're not going to like what you're about to find behind this door. You see, 
the world we created has one peculiarity. It's alive. Alive? What does that mean? It means that we only lay its foundation, but it keeps developing by itself. If I controlled every bit of this world, there would not be any sense in its existence. Not everything in it is as beautiful as what we saw earlier. But of course, you are completely impartial, like a true creator. That's right, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> How else can it be? Can I go see what's behind door number one? Thanks. And I'm not gonna like it. What if I really like it? Uh, what? Oh. Thank you. Oh, right. I, I kind of don't like it so far. This is a prison. Just great. The best manifestation of life. There are a lot of cells here, judging by how many digits there are in the numbers. That's putting it mildly. Oh, yes. There are many cells and many prisoners. Their name is Legion. Let's take a look in one of them. I believe there is an open one on the level above. I'm not sure I'd want that. Want it or not, we'll have to. That's our job, my friend. What? Yeah, I'm not gonna like it. I'm... no, 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 no. So oh. enthusiastic. I bet he won't go far. All jokes aside, do you see what he is doing? Watch closely. Watching TV. If you look at his precious screen, you can see that there's another one exactly like him. He's being forced to an electric chair, fed by the energy they're generating with all this relentless pedaling. And every one of them knows that sooner or later, they too will be dragged there, and fried in that very chair! Why are you telling me this? Did you forget it was me who brought these memories from reality? That's exactly what life I'm living is like, while you are sitting around here in your... oblivion. Oh, come on. Calm down, will you? Let's go. The show must go on, you know. Uh, bell in there, dude. Oh! Thank you. How many? Five? Okay. Man, this game is long then, What a loathsome place. What are we gonna see up there? You've probably guessed already, haven't you? The that same, same chair. chair. Yeah, apart from that, there's basically nothing else here. Oh, hi. Where is the immortal soul in this body? See this white smiling piece of porcelain nearby? That's a soul substitute. It is more than enough, as you can see. Enough for what? For a crazy show like this? That's even too much. You know what that reminds me of? Yeah, this little... Oh, where are they going? Molded from um, Resident Evil 7.
Oh, okay. Still can't run. One spade. Oh, broken door. Who's behind here? Oh I, can, oh, I can. Oh, well. Alright. Bye. Here's our new lucky boy. Thousands of eyes are glued to the screen right now. Uh, All full of envy. Are you ready for your 15 minutes of fame? This vanity fair. Is there another way to get out of here? Forget about it. No, no. There's gotta be another way. Yeah. Again, I'm sorry, but there's no other way. Oh, that face. Oh my god, that face is so creepy. Oh, damn it. Sorry, guys. I thought I could walk on it. Apparently not. I'll get there. Oh, I could walk on it. So is this the quote-unquote palace that that girl was talking about? Okay, let's stay on the metal part. I don't even know where I'm going. Was I supposed to go? Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Sit. What? What the heck? No. No! I don't want to go back there again. There has to be another way. Stop him! What? Hmm. Where... where are we now? I know it was hard. That's why we made a deal a long time ago. Where are we, you're asking? Let's take a walk again. You'll see. It'll all end soon, I promise. And this game is pretty long. It's been an hour, I think. Everybody can... Okay. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. This will be part one. <laughs> I'll do part two tomorrow or something. But yeah, um, this was... At, oh gosh. Caligo. 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 Oh my gosh. Caligo. I think it was Caligo. I think it was Caligo. Anyway, <laughs> I was trying to think of, like, what's the name of this, of this uh, game, but anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go wrap it up here, you guys. I will be back tomorrow with some more videos, and I'll do part two. So stick around for that. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> this is kind of weird. All right, um, I might record it back to back and then just put the new one up tomorrow. But like I said, I'll... Uh, do a different video and do a second part tomorrow. I know I'm like repeating myself, but that's fine. Um, 
But yeah, I'll speak to you all in the next video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. And subscribe if you want to see more from me. I'll speak to you all in the next one. Bye. Oh my god, where is it? <laughs>